dear students in the previous classes we have discussed identification of simultaneous equation models we know that if an equation is part of a system of equations part of a simultaneous equation model then you cannot uh, estimate the parameters of any equation because such estimates will be biased and inconsistent so we have to derive the reduced form from the structural equations we have to derive the reduced forms but the question is whether structural parameters can be retrieved from reduced form coefficients if so we will say that the equation is identified otherwise it is not identified and the restructuring of the equation will be required so identification precedes estimation so we have to ensure that each equation is identified whether it is exactly identified or over identified if it is exactly identified we will use indirect least squares if it is over identified we will use two stages least squares that is it. if it is under identified estimation is not possible now if we have a an m equation model in m endogenous variables m equation model in m endogenous variables we adopt two methods of estimation we adopt two methods of estimation one is the single equation methods single equation methods single equation methods also known as limited information methods limited information methods the second one is system methods system methods also known as full information methods full information methods so there are two types of estimation single equation methods and full information methods in the single equation methods limited information methods we estimate the parameters of each equation individually taking into account the restrictions placed in that equation such as exclusion of variables linear homogeneous restrictions etc without worrying about whether the other equations are identified or not if a particular equation is identified using the identification condition we estimate its parameters without considering without worrying about whether the parameters of other equations are identified or not it is known as so it is known as limited information methods but remember this even if you are using single equation methods you will be aware of the entire simultaneous equation system the number of variables number of endogenous variables number of predetermined variables number of equations etc then only you can identify the equation but we consider only the equation of interest for example in the supply demand model if the supply equation is identified we estimate its parameters without worrying about whether the demand equation is identified or not provided that our interest is parameters of the supply equation only in the system method on the other hand we estimate all the equations simultaneously taking into account 
the restrictions placed on each and every equation in the simultaneous equation model. So the name full information methods. So we have single equation methods and system methods or full information methods. Now in the single equation methods, in the single equation methods as I told you, we consider only the coefficients of the equation of our interest. We will not consider other equations. We will consider the equations but we are not uh, concerned with the identifiability of other equations. But in the system methods, identifiability of all the equations is necessary. Now, among the single equation methods, there are many methods. Among the single equation methods, let me say what are the single equation methods available. One, there are cases in which we can use OLS. That is the case of recursive models. Recursive models. In the case of recursive models, we can use OLS. The second one is indirect least squares if uh, the equation is exactly identified or just identified. Then two SLS if it is over identified. If it is over identified. Then as an alternative to this two SLS there is limited information maximum likelihood. These are the single equation methods. OLS in some cases, ILS, 2SLS and limited information maximum likelihood. Among the system methods, there are two methods. One is three stage least squares. The other one is full information maximum likelihood. Three stage list squares and full information maximum likelihood. So these are the various methods used for estimating the parameters of a simultaneous equation model. Now remember this system methods are very difficult to use. It requires a lot of expertise. As an example, uh, in 1995, a model was constructed by Klein and Goldberger. The model contained 20 equations with uh, 151 non zero coefficients. The 1965 Brookings model has a total of 150 equations. So very difficult, only an expert can handle this. Also, if uh, there is any mistake in the specification, this will affect the entire estimation procedure. So unlike the system methods, limited information methods are easy to use. This is because we are applying or we are estimating one equation at a time. So, so we consider the first three, OLS, ILS and two SLS. And remember this, the most widely used method of estimation in the context of simultaneous equation models is two SLS. And two SLS is available in most of the econometric softwares. It is very easy to implement once you are familiar with softwares such as EVs, Gretel, 
Stata, etc. So we have single equation methods, system methods. Actually, if uh, you want to preserve the true spirit of simultaneous equation models, you must adopt system methods. But it is very difficult and uh, to study this 3 SLS, FIML, etc., you have to use matrix algebra, not uh, discussed in an introductory textbook. So, these are the methods of estimation. So, in the next class, we will consider when we can use OLS to estimate the parameters of an equation which is part of a system of equations.